What up, YouTube? It's 4.40 in the morning. Running a few minutes late on the way to the gym. Already uh, texted Jack Pyburn. Um, he's already there. I just wanted to pop on for a second and let me turn down my 50 cent. I just wanted to pop on for a second and talk about <clears throat> becoming an asset. When you're part of a team, or whether you're part of an organization, or you're an entrepreneur, um, self-employed, have a skill or a trade ship, developing assets in which other people need for them to be successful and do their job is how you secure yourself a position. Being dependable, being on time, being prepared, being well-spoken for, being able to articulate your thoughts and processes. All of these little things in today's day add up. You know, you can have all kinds of education, but if you don't have application, and if you don't have the ability to put yourself out there and conquer your own fears and expand your own capacity, because it all comes through failure. And failures add up to wins. And you don't see that until you get there. But I woke up this morning feeling so blessed because I get to come to the gym and I get to work with Jack and I get to see my trainers with their clients and I get to just embrace who I am as a man and push myself. And I feel so blessed and so thankful. And one of the things I've always told myself is I'm not the smartest, I'm not the strongest, I'm not the fastest, I'm not the biggest but I can be the hardest working and I can be the most diligent and I can count on myself to do those things. It doesn't require me to look at anybody else other than me. And that's character. Those are assets that we can utilize and build on so that other people need us to be successful and accomplish their dreams and goals. Because there's a lot of great trainers out there. There's a lot. There's a lot of trainers that probably know more than me. Um, but are they putting themselves out there the way I am? Are they learning with hands-on the way that I am? You know, I have thousands and thousands of case studies that I'm blessed to have worked on over the years, and I put all of that into a compilation every time I work with somebody, and my next client always gets a better version of myself because of the data that I've been able to absorb in the time that I've been training that's why I'm like the stock market my price goes up actually it hasn't gone down in like eight years but people that had a buy-in rate you know five years ago six years ago eight years ago are paying we're, we're, we're paying a ton less than what their buy-in rate is now listen to this kid he's getting after it you ready Shit, I've been ready. what's that sweatshirt you got on there huh? What's that sweatshirt? The U? You throwing it up? Okay. I like it. All right, well here we are. It's about to get after it. I'm not filming this workout this morning. We're hitting chest. Um, I got a busy day today, so I'll, I'll keep some of the other things I do today on uh, film. All right, so in the car earlier, I said I wasn't gonna come in and film, but Jack told me we have a guest appearance from Hayden Schwartz. Hayden is a Bulls defensive lineman. He's um, been training with me for about two years. Um, he's done a lot of mornings, he's done a lot of afternoons. He's trained with Jack, him and Jack are best friends. Hayden is an amazing athlete, great kid, awesome character. Um, I'm very thankful for these two because their relationship has, at such a young age, helped each other propel and push themselves because at their age, it's hard to find kids that are like-minded, and um, they come from completely different back backgrounds of family, but they have so much in common when it comes to their goals, um, their heart, their attitudes, and it's been awesome to see them grow together. Hayden is here. Um, he leaves today at around 1 o'clock. He's going to Minnesota. He's going to be a defensive lineman for P.J. Fleck and the Golden Gophers. Um, 
he went up and took a visit to the school with Jack a couple months ago. Um, he used to be committed to Nebraska. He early committed there this past summer. Um, a lot of things happened. Um, I'm not going to speak for him, but he felt like it was best if he decommitted. And then um, he got some more offers. Uh, West Virginia offered and Minnesota offered, and he took some official trips to both schools. And I uh, fell in love with the staff at Minnesota. So I'm super excited, super blessed, and thankful to work with both these kids. And um, we're in here, we're getting it on. Uh, I do let them take precedence. Um, so in our workouts, you know, I'm gonna still foam roll for a few more minutes while they get to do the assault bike, and then I'll do the assault bike while they're doing some more foam rolling. Teamwork is what it takes. You know, one thing real quick. We all sacrifice for someone and something. I have no problem humbling myself and sacrificing for some high schoolers that are in here doing what they need to do. I'm blessed and thankful for these kids because they matter just as much to me as I do to them and they don't even realize it. Five, 10, we're going up first for 10, middle for 10 seconds, underneath for 10, thumbs or uh, hands out all the time. So, hands up. for 10 reps. One way that I've learned to motivate Jack over the last three years is to challenge him. Tell him that he can't do something or tell him a number that he feels embarrassed about and he'll go demolish it. So it's a tactic I use. I'm gonna use it here also. He'll be lucky if he gets one. for three. Now we're gonna do 185 and we're gonna do 20 reps. This is more important than anything we've done so far because this is the icing on the cake. This is when most people get lazy and they tell themselves they did a good job, they got 315. I don't give a shit. Now we need to work on 185 for 20 reps. That's what matters right now. Let's work. Come on.
All right, what's up, YouTube? Um, it is Tuesday. It's 6.38 p.m. And uh, I just wanted to come get on here for a second and close the day off. Uh, this morning in the workout with Hayden and Jack, um, we got caught up in the workout and we didn't get to film the rest of it. And then Hayden had to leave. And um, Hayden flew out today to go to Minnesota. I'm so excited for him. He's gonna go up there and he's, he's an early enroll. So he signed uh, a few weeks ago and <clears throat> he early signed and he early enrolled and now he is starting college and he will be under um, Minnesota Golden Gopher football academic guidance. And you know, Hayden is a special athlete that has a good head on his shoulders and has a great foundation with family and an understanding for the game and what it takes to be successful. His father is a pastor and also played in the NFL. And is just a, a great dad and a great leader and has had a huge impact on Hayden. And that in itself will carry so much weight um, in his development and character development as he goes off to college and as he becomes a leader. Um, he will be a leader for Minnesota. He's not a follower. Um, and he is a hard worker. There's, you know, I, I also talked this morning about having, or being an asset, you know, and how do you make yourself valuable? And I, I listed some characteristics and some traits of habits and behaviors of showing up on time and being disciplined and being hardworking, but it's also your attitude. You know, your attitude is going to set you apart. Um, that's a direct reflection of your heart and your motives of your heart are gonna carry you and determine you know, inevitably how successful you are. If you're doing things for the right reason, for the right purpose, then in the end, you'll do what it takes to be successful and it will show why and how you did it. I, I'm a firm believer in that. So Hayden is going to go to college and he's gonna be a leader and he's gonna be very successful and you know, I'm excited for him to step into this new place and He's going to have some growth. He's going to have a lot of pain. I talked to him and I told him and Jack and um, there's another kid, Bradley, who's uh, going off to Vanderbilt and all three of them are going to experience a lot and it's going to, it's going to make them grow and find parts of themselves that were always there, but they needed to uncover and having had to learn about myself, you know, I'm excited for them to unravel this layer and, and you know, get to a deeper level of understanding with who they are and what they're made of and push themselves to that next level because that's what we've prepared for in the gym. That's what we've prepared for when we talk about life and how to handle these things and these situations of, you know, working for playing time and earning respect and, you know, being a leader and the characteristics that it, that, that entails. Um, all of these kids have so much upside. And that always goes back to, you know, the common factor of their parents. Um, I will say that I'm very, very blessed. I'm so blessed that my athletes have such awesome parents. Um, very involved, very caring, very nurturing, um, but also tough love. You know, not all my parents of athletes parent the same, but they all have the same goal and they all have the same um, overall objective. And I really respect that. And that makes me and doing my job and being hard on these kids for the right areas and the right reasons extremely more um i can do it more naturally and more passionately so i just wanted to close off the day and uh, it was a great day it was a blessing of a day every day is and i have a lot that i'm thankful for and i have a lot that i'm building and growing on um our trainers I want to give a shout out to our trainers you know our, our trainers at Dynamic Fitness are doing amazing. They're, I'm so blessed and thankful for the trainers that we have. Uh, we have trainers at Mount Vernon Barbell, Jacks, and we also have trainers at the Gym Jacks, and then we also have online trainers. And there's other gyms that have been reaching out to me uh, about putting trainers in their gyms. And I've had a lot of other opportunities, um, gym opportunities, open up. I'm not going to go down that route. Um, I'm 
so thankful and happy with the arrangements I have at the Jim Jacks. Uh, you know, the ownership um, there, Sean and Jackie and Vince and Bev, you know, they're they're awesome. And, I, you know, I am so thankful for, you know, me running Dynamic Fitness, my business and brand out of there gym is is just such a blessing and and i'm very thankful for that and you know my agreement and my um, partnership with chris in you know having trainers out of mount vernon barbell that is also um <clears throat> such a blessing and i'm very thankful and honored for that uh chris is very unique he is um he reminds me a lot of myself but we have completely different upbringings and got to very similar places in life completely different routes and he's someone that um, I see very like-minded um, as in hardworking and uh, not afraid to take a risk and uh, one of my mentors and uh, he's actually Jack's father Bill Pyburn uh, scared money don't make money and you got to take risks uh, to make it big and I've taken risks in my business but I really didn't have a lot to lose at the time and now, you know, as business is going um, and we're more and more blessed, I, I, I do feel a little more pressure on decisions that I make. Uh, first and foremost, all that matters is um, our clients and our trainers. You know, I'm, I'm blessed. I'm thankful for everything I have and I'm taken care of. Um, but I, I want to make sure that our clients and our trainers are, you know, top priority of representing the brand and taken care of first and foremost. So... Yeah, I'm thankful for Mount Vernon Barbell and the Jim Jacks because they are places that I get to serve and our clients and our trainers get to build a relationship and help grow the community and help grow each other in like-minded ways. So Dynamic Fitness, for me, it, it's everything to me. I started the company in 2011 and uh, it's only been an amazing journey. I, I wouldn't trade any of it. There's been times where I only thought I believed in myself, but that that uh, was incorrect. I had so many people believing in myself, and when I would tap into that, I would always get more strength to keep going because I knew that I had people that depended on me and people that needed me. Um, in life, we all want to be validated. We all want to be valued. We all want to matter and be important, and you know that's an urge that I have, and I think that being a personal trainer and being a coach and having access to help people is a privilege and you should lead yourself and how you carry yourself and how you live your life and the habits that you have, that should be, you know, the forefront and people that want to work with you should want to also emulate the behaviors and the characteristics that you have and the way that you carry yourself and the way that you handle yourself. So. If you want to be a successful trainer, you just have to lead by example and care about your clients. And I'm so blessed that our trainers are are like that and that the gym owners that I work with are also like that. Um, you know, all of us care so much about the clients and about the members that, you know, we want to make sure everyone else is happy and everyone else is, is being blessed just like we are. So uh, I just want to sound off on that today. Uh, I think it's so important that we give positive affirmations and you know there's things I could find in my day to complain about and sometimes people think that I'm aggressive but I'm really just passionate uh, you can probably hear it in my tone uh, YouTube will probably understand that this is just how I am this is how I talk and this is just how I handle life um, I'm very passionate and I take things very serious my dad used to tell me I wear my emotions on my sleeve and He's right. I still do. I've gotten a little bit better at it. Um, probably a lot better at it at times, but I need to still get better because I wear my heart and my emotions on my shoulder. Uh, it can be a good thing and a bad thing. But a lot of <laughs> a lot of times, I after the fact is when I realize and understand how I should have handled it differently. But when those after the facts add up, hopefully, when you're faced with that situation again, you're reminded and you make a better choice. So. We're all growing. We're all trying to be better people. And this is my Tuesday rant. It was a great day. Tomorrow, Wednesday, back day. Not going to be filming. Actually, I will be filming tomorrow night. Stay tuned. 
we have uh, tips on how to travel. So let's keep moving it forward dynamic fitness style.